if Beth and I are lucky enough to be sitting here in 2078, 59 years later at some distant celebration, how are we going to look back on six decades that we've shared together? And I think in, in 60 years' time, our, our lives will have changed beyond all recognition. But I'm sure we'll be able to look back on a loving partnership built on a couple of key foundations that lasted over the decades. First, the trust, support and affection that we show each other every single day. And second, me singing strange cover versions of Smash Mouth songs that I found on YouTube at Bethan as she tries to fall asleep. The key foundation of our relationship. If on that summer's day in 2078 we, we think back almost as far as we can, I think we'll remember today as the encapsulation of like everything that Beth and I hold dear. So uh, a day of happiness, positivity, love and booze shared in the company of people that we hold dear. A day when we were truly, completely happy. I promise to always be there for you as a team. To respect and be true to my word unfailingly. I promise not to take things too seriously. Except when it matters. You are the other half of me. But I promise to never forget that you are your own person. That you are your own person. Firstly, on behalf of both the families, to warmly welcome you and thank you for coming to this wonderful location to help celebrate the marriage of Bethan and Josh. As her parents, we feel very proud of the woman she has grown into, confident, determined and kind. We would like to welcome Josh to our family. You both make a terrific team and I believe that entitles you, Josh to be just a little bit Welsh. Aww. May the two of you always treat each other with love, compassion and kindness. It's my husband. <laughs> Things have definitely changed in the last decade since we first met. I feel like the luckiest girl in the world to be, uh, to be marrying you today. You're always my biggest cheerleader. You're always 100% on my team always backing me up in feminist arguments uh, and never phased by my crazy ideas or plans for anything. So thank you. We've both changed and grown together and it's a privilege to see you grow into the confident, caring and accomplished man that I'm married today. I can't wait to see what our future holds. When looking back through our past and asking our friends and and even your family members for truly embarrassing stories for me to bring up in this speech. All that really comes up is just what a nice, kind, clever and lovely chap you are, you wanker. <laughs> <laughs> so it seems fitting that after being such a positive light in so many people's lives, you get to marry the greatest influence in your life. Since then, getting to watch from the sidelines as you two have grown together has been really beautiful and we're all so glad we finally get to be here today. <laughs> to be, to Bevan, to Beaver, to Grub, to Gorg, Gorgo, Gorgonzola, to, to Bethan. On any given day, I have about 65 pet names for you. And I think that's really because I, I simply can't put my love for you into adequate words. 
Uh, I can't, I, tr I really tried, I tried to write how much I love you and I can't tell you how much I love you, but I will show you from today <laughs> until that day in 2078 and beyond. My final toast is to the single person who's worked harder than anyone else to make today incredibly special. So, my final toast is to my wife. Yeah.